Hello guys and welcome back to another one of Elite Unboxer's videos. I'm Elite Unboxer and today we have another airsoft gun called the Undead Apocalypse Z357 Z Storm 8 shot revolver. It is by Crossman and it is powered by CO2 which is not included. So you're going to have to go buy yourself some uh CO2 made by Crossman, pretty much the only brand. Yeah, you're going to need that. And, uh, it's the, uh, Undead Apocalypse version, so it's kind of got a zombie kind of look to it. So let's, uh, let's go inside. Of course, you're going to start out with your instruction booklet, which you're probably going to want to read that. I don't, I don't, I never do, but I don't know. Shows you all your specs and stuff, I suppose. If it will focus, eh, it doesn't really matter. So that's that. Of course, you got to have protection and bubble wrap to play with. And here's the gun. It's full metal, which not many, like, I've never seen a airsoft, well, I've never really seen an airsoft revolver that much, but it is full metal. It's really, feels really good in your hand. It's probably about maybe a pound and a half, two pounds. It's really nice. It's got a real nice weight to it. The only part that's not metal is this right here, and it's the, the, uh, the handle of it and this little bubble right here is like rubberized something or other and uh, I'll start on this side right here you'll probably notice the main things you'll notice is probably the writing it's usually on the right side of the gun but for this reason it's on the left and the uh, this thing which is your how to oh, shadow it's how you open it and firing and safety Safety is all the way pushed back, which it is right now, so you can't pull the trigger or pull the hammer back. Middle is firing, which means you can pull the hammer back. And then all the way forward is how you release the 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 bad the the revolver part of the revolver, which is where you reload your BBs. And I like how it adds a realistic effect with this right here, and you can pop out your BBs just like so. And I already preloaded it just so you know how they fit in there and stuff. But sometimes they can be a pain to get in there and you don't want to take the time, say you need to reload really quick. So I went out and bought one of these. They're really cheap. You just got to go like this and it just kind of pops them in and stuff. They're pretty cheap. They're only like $6 at Walmart or whatever. This gun, by the way, is 70 75 depending where you get it and stuff. And you can't exactly flip it shut like you think you would. But, uh, I like it. It's full metal and stuff. And it comes with two more of these, which are right over here. It comes in a little plastic bag that's folded up inside of this creepy lady's face. Up under, in here. So it's always good to have a few extra shells with you. And I'm, I'm sure you can buy these somewhere else online, too, if you really needed to. But as of right now, I don't do that much shooting. So I just kind of leave them alone. So I'll load that back in there. I can load. And the CO2 goes back here in the handle, which like most CO2 guns it does. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to do this with one hand. Yeah. Ah, hold on. There we go. I already have CO2 in there. It is a pretty loud gun. But, uh... I don't think it'll bother you, I mean, unless you absolutely were trying to go stealth build, like if you're a sniper or something. But if you hit someone with this, they're going to feel it, because it's 425 feet per second again. I'm using, uh, I think they're 12 gram BBs, but for 400, it's uh, probably 20 grams, like it says on the back of the box. Here, shows you all the specs in your bullets. And I just wanted to try these BBs here, apparently it's for like the real thing, but it looks pretty cool. Targets and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much all of the specs and stuff on it on that side. And yeah, I went through a lot of decision making. I was deciding between the wind gun, this, and the other thing. And this one was the cheapest. Dan Wesson revolver. But this one was the cheapest. So I went with this. Plus for the price, it's full metal. And a lot of people, they say that you can't pull the hammer back. I mean, this is double action. You can pull the hammer back or semi-auto fire it. But... 
you can also decock it, which I guess a lot of guns can't do that. So you don't waste like your CO2 on a shot that you didn't really want to take. That's why I also like this gun. It's not quite like that. And uh, you can uh, bring pain to the battlefield or wherever you're shooting at. I don't really know if you could kill a zombie with it. <laughs> I don't think you could nonetheless kill anything with it. Maybe a squirrel or something, but... Nah, not too much. Yeah, I really like this gun. I th I'm happy with my purchase. It was $70. I bought it at Walmart. I saw it there a couple of... A while ago, and I couldn't buy it because I didn't have enough money. But now I did, and they actually had it in stock. So I got it. And uh, for the sights... They're just pretty basic sights. It's going to be kind of hard to line up here. So uh, I think they're called wedge sights or something like that. Slice or something. And I don't really know sight terminology. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I really like this gun. Go out and get yourself one. I know there's not many of these reviews out there, so I'm hoping people will watch mine. Watch some of my other videos and my other reviews. And if you want to watch me fire this, comment, tell me you want to see me fire in, and I'll probably do it. And, uh, yeah, it's a really nice gun. If you like revolvers or anything in general, for a nice powerful weapon, you should probably get this one. It's not, I mean, it's not too expensive, it's pretty affordable. I love it. Like this video, favorite it, and, uh, subscribe for more videos. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.